Hey guys, welcome to another recap of American Idol. Yeah, it's the final recap of Hollywood week. Yeah, it's really over. The top 24 are revealed. Well, 17 more anyway, because last night the first seven were revealed. So, if you don't know who the other seven are, just go watch yesterday's uh, Idol recap that I did. So, first up, Janelle Wheeler. Um, she was in a trio of yeses in the original audition process, so they didn't really tell too much backstory on her. Her Hollywood week was a little bit iffy, but she's in. Thanks, Ellen, for the, uh, fake out. You know, I'm already getting sick of it already, and it was only the first one of the night. Tyler Grady, um, he sang I'm Going Home. Not a good song to pick, um for your final song that you want the judges to remember you by. But he was the dude with the giant afro and the really cool 70s clothes. I mean, I remember him from the original auditions. I really liked his clothes. And he's a 70s rocker, so he's in. Lacey Brown. This is her second time around for Hollywood Week. Last season, she made the top 50. Great news, she's in. All right, then what's an American Idol recap show without a trio of yeses? Ashley Rodriguez, Alex Lambert, and Joe Munoz. Crystal Bowersox was up next. You know her. She's the mom with the dreads and the cute little baby. Uh, Tony, a.k.a. Lil T. She's in. She's one of my favorites, I must say. I definitely uh, like the stylings of her voice. Katie Stevens, the 17-year-old whose grandma had Alzheimer's. Well, she still has it. It was an Ellen fake-out. <sighs> Enough! I guess when the regular season starts, there's not going to be any reason for fake-outs, so that's a good thing. Then there was a montage of no's. And yes, all you people who have been waiting to hear about Nikki Nix, the fake Italian, she's out. She was in the montage of no's. Up next, a very emotional... Elimination. Angela Martin, you remember her. Her dad was killed. Her daughter has seizures. She had to spend six days in jail, so she missed out on uh, Hollywood Week when she was on in a previous season. <sighs> this was so bad. I thought for sure that they were going to put her through, but there's just too many talented girls this season. Last season, they were had a plethora of talented guys. This season, it's definitely the girls who are, you know, who got the upper hand. So Kara sat with her. They just, they couldn't even look at her. It was just so emotional. I felt so bad for her. And she's, I think, 28 years old. So I think there's only one more year. But I don't even know if she's going to come back. But I feel bad. Lily Scott was up next. She was the girl with the unnatural, like, white hair. <laughs> that hair's got to go. I love, love, love her as a singer, but that hair is so distracting. She even had some band troubles. Um, the uppity vocal coach was all like, intro, intro. I know people just like him. Lay off of her. She's really good. They even switched it up for her. They let Kara try and do the fake out, which was actually pretty successful. Kara, I'm liking the fake out. Uh, Lily Scott, you're in. <laughs> All right, so now they had, they're running out of time, so they had to go through a couple pretty quick here. Paige Miles, who are you? I don't remember you from the auditions. Siobhan Magnus, I'm going to have to give out an impromptu. You have the absolute worst outfit of Hollywood week that I've ever seen on an American Idol. She was wearing some kind of weird gray wool leg warmers and like this nightgown. It was just really weird, but you're in. Uh, Michelle Delamore, I don't really remember her either, but she's in. Jermaine Sellers, the church singer, I believe he also had spina bifida. He's in. I'm a big fan of his. John Park, you remember him, the Asian guy. Kara and Posh Spice really liked his lips. <laughs> kind of weird. All right, so there's one spot left for the girls, but there's two girls. So it's Tori Kelly, uh, the, I think she's 16 years old. Uh, her little sister brought pictures for the judges. Pictures were a little weird. And Haley Vaughn, she wants to be the first black pop country star. All right, I thought they were both equally good, but in the end, they chose Haley Vaughn over Tori Kelly. I'm thinking because... 
Haley Vaughn's got her shtick going for her that she wants to be black pop country, so she's a little bit more unique than Tori Kelly. So, one spot left for the guys. It came down to Andrew Garcia and Thaddeus Johnson. I love both of these guys so much. I think Thaddeus and his mom are so charming, and he is so talented for such a young guy. And Andrew Garcia, very talented. I love his backstory. I love the what he. I love what he did with um, Paula Abdul straight up in the auditions. He's a dad. He's a YouTuber. We gotta support him. So, in the end, Andrew Garcia made it through, and Thaddeus Johnson did not. But I'm hoping that there's a silver lining to this cloud that uh, Thaddeus Johnson, since he was like in the final two to one, that since Michael Lynch is going to be disqualified from the show, I think next week, Thaddeus Johnson will take his place. I'm hoping. All right, that would make sense. So next week, it's live. The first performance show on Tuesday, it's the ladies. The second performance show on Wednesday, it's the guys. So till next week, much love.